Alright guys, welcome back to our Pokemon Souls. So let's walk through this episode 16. Um, last episode we uh, battled Lugia on World Islands and we caught him with a single Pokeball, which was pretty insane. This episode we'll be heading uh, down this way, towards Kanto and to the board's Victory Road, because that's our next destination. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we go, I think I'm going to pop an extra ball because I don't want any wild Pokemon, which of course is pretty obvious, but yeah. Let's go and spray that. There we go. And I can start surfing towards this way, and, um, yeah. So you can see there's a couple chances here, and as you go through here, you notice his dad right here just sitting here. And he'll come up to you, hey. You know what you did? You just took your first step into Canada. Check your Pokemon map and see. So anyways, what you can do is go to your uh, Pokey here. Oh, wrong one again. Pokey here. <laughs> and, uh, check the, uh, the radio, never mind. Go to this. And there you go, so you can see now, now you're in Kano. Um, but now you can see how there's Entei's right there, Raikou's right there. All that stuff. We're gonna catch those later on. We're not gonna catch those yet. So let's go ahead and head through Tojo Falls currently. So let's get started. Um, yeah. Small cavern you can pass through. You just need waterfalls pretty much it. So make sure you have like a Pokemon with waterfall and strength this route. Actually, maybe just waterfall. I'm not sure. There we go. Let's head down. This way. And up here, because there's an item all the way down here. I don't remember exactly what I think. It's like Ultra Ball. Or Moonstone, sorry. You can use that for a Pokemon that needs it. Uh, probably about a Nidor or Nidorino or whatnot. Um, so let's go ahead and head surf back and then head to the other side of the cave. As you can see, yesterday I uploaded my first part to my Pokemon Platinum Redo. Um, yeah, I'm going to redo that series again. I think it'll be fun. And I have a completely remade team. So I know exactly what it's going to be. I think it's going to be really successful. So I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I didn't expect it to use that, but whatever. Let's go for the wing attack. There we go. And a Venusaur, so let's go for a fly. There we go. Things up level, that's nice. So I gotta revive. No. Yo, Gibbs, there we go. And then we can head to this house. I think this woman, like, talks to you. I don't remember exactly what she says, but let's go in here. And talk about that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just gonna give you... TM-37? I don't remember what this is. Sandstorm, there we go. Um... Okay, there we go. So let's go through here, head back on the surfer, and then let's keep going towards Pokemon uh, the Victory Road. Um, let's give your main goal for the episode, just to get there. We're really doing a lot of battles on the way there to train up, also. And then before we hit the Pokemon League, um, we're gonna do some extra training in Victory Road as well, just so our Pokemon are evenly matched with the, uh, levels there. So yeah, let's go ahead and start battling this dude. Magneton. Quagsire. Oh, I didn't expect that to kill me. Whatever. Um, let's go ahead and put out Dyke, I guess. I don't really know. Execute. There we go. And <laughs> now we gotta heal up, uh... Gibbs again. I just keep letting him die back. I don't know. I'm not really paying attention to it, but what uh, we brought lots of revives, so we should be okay to go. I think there's an item back here that we could pick up. So let's just go ahead and surf over there. It's towards the bottom part of this map, the southern part, yeah. So there's a different way to get down there. I think you have to go from around the side to the uh, east of here. I always continue across this bridge. Keep battling all these. There's just a lot of ace trainers. And they have pretty good Pokemon, so you get some good experience off them. So, yeah, there's, I think there's an item over here. Let's just double check. I'm not really sure if there is, but I'm just kind of guessing. So I guess not. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm mean, really looking for hold items right now um, to boost up powers for uh, the Pokemon League because that's kind of our like main goal. We need to have properly proper held items, which will give them good base stat boost and whatnot. So there's a destiny knot. Um I think that's kind of associated with attract. So if you use a, if the op opponent uses attract on you, it'll do the same thing for them. As you can see this infutation, um it'll have the same effect on the other Pokemon if they use it. So yeah. A star me. Hmm, okay. Go. Oh. Execute. There we go. And giraffe rig, alright. 
Let's knock it out. There we go. It gives it up two levels that there. That was nice. Uh, okay, we can go ahead and heal up now. Full heal now. Maybe we're to switch over to Dyke, probably. I'd assume will be the best choice because he needs our lowest level. Other than Magmortar, we'll tra train a Magmortar too. But for now, let's go train up Dyke. There's a trainer. Just a bunch of ace trainers. You know, it's a pretty typical route. Um, not much difference, but whatever. There we go. I keep missing. There we go. Need to okay, now I can switch it to Magmortar. There we go. Sure, I'll give my number, I don't know, I'll give my to cyclical random trainers, I mean, they'll call you certain situations, maybe like for a rebattle or something like that, I don't know. Pretty typical of them. So now let's go ahead and switch back to Magmortar to train them up. These are our lowest level, because I know, Spritz is kind of like our HM slave. And it for us in the PC, because he's level 45, so, so um, he didn't really need much training for this route. There's another Pokemon right here, it's another Fisherman, dude. A little faint attack. There we go. There we go. We beat him. Okay, that's pretty nice. Okay, this youngster Joey's calling me. Okay. Uh, I kind of sped through that. So I don't understand exactly what he said, but whatever. Right, let's continue on. Run this way. Not a psychic dude, there's a lot of trainers. We're getting pretty close now, to be honest. I'm not that far away from it. Alright, so nice bullets went up a level. I think I'm gonna train him up more level just cause. I mean, he's already in front and I don't really feel like switching out, so just. Well, it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Isn't there? Yeah, there's an item down here we can go pick up. Lost her repel, okay. Well, let's pop another one, I guess. Might as well. I mean, of course. <laughs> Look, our sir sprite is white. That's kind of weird. It's still white. That's kind of weird. Hmm, we can't go any farther than that. Okay. I mean, I thought there was an item down here, but I guess not. Maybe there is. Or no, there's not. Alright, whatever. We'll head back. Surf down here because some more items you can pick up. There's another whirlpool. As you can see, there's a whirlpool. Remember, there's an item all the back there. That's something I'm gonna go ahead and hit. So um, go pick up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just surf down there. There's one down there too. Hopefully, there's a good hold item that we can pick up. I think that would be nice. There's another trainer down there too. So there's another battle. Quick battle. There we go. Another flying type dude. Alright, let's go for Lava Plume. Faint attack. There we go. Sure. Dragon Claw. Mm, nice. Alright. I don't really notice that team as well. Let's see if we can teach any of our Pokemon. I'm not sure if we can, but that'd be useful for Pokemon with good physical attack, I guess. Alright, so Jaws can learn it, but he already has a good moveset, so I'm not going to teach it to him. Okay, let's go ahead and continue on. No. No way, sorry about that, but we're gonna head this way. Go on the bridge and keep heading down this way. Up. There's an item over here. No, you're not. Alright, I'll also continue back. I don't think a loop of chains here, we're just kind of like following routes, trying to get towards Victory Road, of course. A lot of trainers, items, picking up all the items, sca scavenging whatever we can get. Help us out with our Elite Four challenge, so, yeah. Another, uh, repel. Need pop another one. Yeah. I think I was talking pretty, uh, I'm not talking very loud because my mom saw this, I'm just trying to record over anything. She's kind of like downstairs, so I just told her that I was like recording and whatnot, so, yeah. And here's a rest house, so you might as well rest up there. Want to get your Pokemon at a good HP level if you are. Or if your Pokemon have fainted, you don't have like a revive or something like that. There's another Ace Trainer. Shandy Battle, of course. Pikachu. Lava Plume. There we go. And Blastoise. Alright. 
Yeah, it's gonna do a lot of damage. I'm gonna switch out to. Oh, we don't have. Yeah, I forgot we don't have that. I'm just gonna go to Fangs. Cross Poison is enough. There we go. There we go. Level, that's nice. Alright, let's go ahead and continue on. I should pick up this blue apricorn here. Like, why not? Might as well. We're just collecting those pretty much, so. Let's keep going. We're almost there. We are very close. I can tell. Here's another one of those, uh, East Trainer dudes. Victory Bull. Lava Bloom. There we go. And Flamethrower. Hmm, okay. You can replace Fire Blast, because I never really use Fire Blast, and it's a good move and whatnot, but, like, I'm just gonna replace, um, take Flamethrower. I mean, they've got more power points, kind of pretty close in, uh, damage. Base damage, so. Yeah. There we go, Fangs up level, nice. Could've switched there, but whatever. Kinda forgot to. Alright, so... I'm gonna think I'm gonna put things up in front because they're 42 and he's pretty close to leveling up again, so might as well. There we go. And this guy's here, so you can just use a wing attack. That's nice because Parasect was set up as like uh Yeah. There we go. Things up. So there we go. I'm gonna put up Jaws next. I know that the only thing I can use against this is Crunch, but still look how much damage that does. Surf. Oh yeah, water absorb, I forgot about that. Alright, there we go, so it's done. Go ahead and heal up Jaws. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna head through Victor on this um, this episode because like Victor there's no trainers it's basically just like a um, puzzle map so it's really nothing too hard. There we go and Flaffy. Oh Fangs I've got two levels there nice Fangs are highest level Pokemon currently. Nice. All right so anyways go for the Hyper Potion first. Actually no, he's good enough. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and head back and uh, heal up before we go into Victory Road, so I'll be right back. Alright, so we are ready to go, and we're gonna head into the Elite for the Pokemon League now, or in the Victory Road. We got all healed up, we got all our items and whatnot, and here's the guy. I want you to prove him slowly past. Well, that 8 of Johto, please go right on through. So, let me show the 8 pages, of course, by now you've all of them would have them. So, let's head in. Victory Road. This is it. The final challenge before push to the Pokemon League. So, now. I'm just going to pop Max Repel real quickly. And now we can continue, go ahead and go through. So then these strengths. Gyarados not good. Gyarados knows it. So that's nice. Gyarados like our ultimate gem slave currently. Let's head down here. And just make our way through these rocks. Another item. Potion. Alright, so we, I don't even know why they put that there. Because potions are kind of worthless currently. In this part of the game. Just an item over here. I'm not sure. No. Oh, maybe. Oh, there's a full heal right there. Okay, so nice. We already have tons of those, but still, I guess it's uh, always good to pick up as many items as you can. Um, so anyways, as you can see, there's no trainers in this Richter Road. It's basically just a big puzzle. I mean, most tra um, most Victor Roads would have a, um, um, trainers associated with the puzzle. It's like even most of the challenge, which is like a big challenging kind of thing at the end part of the game. So... Go ahead and heal up really quickly. Or not heal up, but a max pile up. I don't want to run into wild Pokemon, of course. Hit this ladder, and then we can go look at that item lead because that rock will just block our pathway. So let's go up here. Nothing else, just an item right here. Max Reviver. Alright, so you can pick up a couple of these throughout this uh, Vector Road. There's a couple of good items like Full Restores, Max Elixirs, all that stuff. So let's continue through. There's another item down there. Can't go down there yet, so we'll just go up this way. And there's one of these boulder things, so let's just fall down through here. So we just went that way, so we're gonna go this way. Knock this boulder in the center. There we go. And I got a floor store, so that's pretty nice. We'll pick up more of those at the um, 
Indigo Plateau before our Elite Four Challenge. And as you can see, there's a fall hole right here you can go through. You don't have to, but I don't think I'm going to go through. That's not the right way. So let's another Max Repel Spray. Repel Wild Pokemon, of course. Um, I have here, I think there's a few, maybe an item up here you can pick up. I'm not sure. Here's an item. As you can see, the cave over there is the exit towards the Indigo Plateau. So let's head around this way. Um, you want to go through the bottom one right here. Just follow down through here. Go over here. Up the ladder. And like that. But, um, anyways, there's another item over there you can pick up, but I'm not going to go for that, because what you can do now is just go around this way, fall through, go this way, and there's an item, Earthquake, so there we go. Teach that one your Pokemon, very useful uh, TM, very strong, powerful move as well, so, yeah. There we go, skip by this thing, go around, pick up this item right here, and a rare candy. So anyway, it's not going to be a preparation because guess what? Victor Road isn't over yet because as soon as you walk up a few block, um, a few steps up past this uh, straight um, descent towards the exit of the cave, Silver, your rifle come and battle you. So I'm just going to get prepared for that and I'll be right back, guys, when I am. Alright, so guys, I'm ready to prepare for this battle. So let's go ahead and walk up towards this way. And as you can see, boop, and there goes the exclamation mark. And then you can see Silver, your rival, come running up. He said, hold it, you go to the Challenge Pokemon League. Victor Road at the end for it, sure. But did you notice you didn't see any rare trainers on the way, did you? Man, they were all spineless. Well, the fact that you've come this far means that you're not one of them. But your journey ends here, because right here, right now, I will crush you. And so this is your final battle with Silver before the Pokemon League. Um, he's pretty basic, as always. I mean, Silver is not really much of a challenge. His Pokemon are all fully evolved. No, not all fully evolved, but... Anyways, he's going to start off with the Sneasel, which hasn't evolved yet. Um... Level 36, Dark Ice type, ability inner focus, no held items, no moves, faint attack, icy wind, furious wipes, and quick attack. So I'm going to go with um, Dyke, I'm just going to go for the Brick Break here to start off. I mean, one Brick Break will knock it out for sure, which is pretty obvious because um, Sneasel's four times weak to fighting. So that's your best bet for this battle, or for this, yeah, this one specific fight. And there you go, so Sneasel's down, pretty easy. Alright, so he's going to send a Golbat now. Alright, so Golbat... Um, I think I'm going to go and switch to Jaws. Go for the ice thing. I got the Never Melt Ice on Jaws as well, so it'll boost up his, um, ice attack power. So ice thing will do more damage. Anyways, go for the ice thing. Go for the air cutter. So that's not going to do that much damage, because the air cutter is not that powerful, and gold butt isn't that powerful either. I mean, gold butt's powerful, but, like, against my... For alligator doesn't really stand much of a chance, to be honest. So it's gonna get pretty close knocking it out. Um, I'm gonna go for a hydro cannon. Okay, so he's gonna switch. Oh, okay. I mean, hydro cannon will do damage, but I don't know how much it'll do. Yeah, I'm. I'm initially used hydro cannon because I thought he's gonna heal, but yeah, okay, so he's gonna thunder wave me. Go for the surf. Okay, so he got me in a good situation here for him. I'm going to switch out here and go to Gibbs. Next time he uses Spark, he won't do anything against me, and then he'll be kind of like worthless, and I'll just go for the Earthquake and knock it out. There we go. And Meganium, so now I'm going to switch out to Magmortar. Of course, it's my best bet against it. Magmortar can just lava plume it, and I'm going to go for Flamethrower. There we go. Put us on this Meganium. Anyways, this is Meganium level 40. Um, um, ability Grass, Ability Overgrow, uh, no Held Items. None of his Pokemon have items. No moves reflect. Petal Dance, and this is in Poison Powder. So just watch out for its Petal Dance. That's his most deadly move. I'm going to go for the Flamethrower. I think one or two of these will knock it out. Probably one because Magmortar like, just got that good special attack stats. So. Yeah, there we go. That was pretty easy. And lots of experience from a starter, of course, because the starters always give a lot of experience. Hunter. Alright. Um, you know, I'm just going go to go to Finks. Why not? Give him part in this battle. Alright, so what is this? this is Hunter. Um, yeah, of course, no hold that on a level 37. I build it, uh, poison, ghost poison types. Smells moves curse, mean look, shadow ball, and confuse ray, and his abilities levitate, so you can't use ground type moves on it, so just be aware of that. I'm gonna go for the bite, just see. Um, probably two of these will knock it out, maybe even one, because Hunter's not that great defensive, so. Yeah, one will knock it out, because, well, I just said, Hunter's not that great defensively. There we go. 
the Zubactus Cadabra. I'm gonna go back to Magmortar because it knows faint attack. So there we go. There we go. Then we go for the faint attack. Probably one or two of these will knock it out. Yeah, there we go. One will knock out. Cadabra's not that great defensively, so. And last but not least, he's gonna send in his gold bat. So I'm gonna go to Gibbs. Anyways, I forgot to announce his moves. So this is Golbat level 38, Poison Flying type, Inner Focus. And as I said before, I know his moves Bite, Confuse, Ray, Astonish, and Air Cutter. Um, Astonish is kind of a worthless move at this point of the game. It doesn't do any damage at all. And he's going to waste a turn going for an Air Cutter because that's not going to do anything. And then one Rock Throw will take it out, so that's pretty much the end of this battle. Um, as I said before, Silver's not too hard. Or your Rival's not too hard. So Gibbs is going to... Oh, so close. I couldn't win. And of course, yeah, blah blah blah. We know you lost. Great job. I think it'll become the right turn over for no way I can't become stronger. And there we go. So it's just gonna leave. So yeah, there we go. Um there we go, silver, silver's down. Uh we've beaten him. And now we emerge through the exit of the cave to the Pokemon League. So, here we are, the Inigo Plateau. The last challenge of the Johto region. Now let's go ahead and head inside. And I'm going to go and heal up, of course, because that's the first thing everybody does when they get to Pokemon League. And guys, I'm going to switch out Spritz and put an Ampharos, and I'll be right back. Alright, so guys, we're done. We've healed up. We're ready to go. But we're not going to challenge Pokemon League because, of course, this is going to be the end of the episode. But if you want to see that, then stay tuned for next episode, guys, because on the next episode, we will be challenging the Elite Four. So... Guys, stay tuned for that, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.